Hi guys, my name is Muhammad Shahzad and you're watching my YouTube channel Skill Set with Shahzad. Today uh, we are going to do a static routing between two branches. We will have a one branch. I will make a color here, definitely light yellow. It's branch one and then select another one is a branch two and we have to do a static routing between these two branches each branch have a two pieces you can add as much as you can it will be a similar configurations okay so in each branch we have a switch here and here and each branch we have a router here and here okay this branch is connected with this cable zero to here and then this one is connected zero to here okay and these two are connected via serial connections to here or gigabit whatever you want to connect you can connect okay so this is our gigabit this and this this is both the network ports so we'll create here will be three networks one network will be in this side we can give a VLAN or you can make a simple because we are focusing on in static routing so I'll give IP address this side 192.168.1.1 slash 24 and here 192.168.2 dot one slash 24 network is zero okay so we will go network okay so this network is this side and this network is this side so we'll connect uh, this one with this and uh, this one with this similarly we'll connect this one with this and this one with this okay so we'll connect the ip address on this side will be 192.168.1.1 Here will be 192.168.2.1. Okay, so this one will be 192.168.1.2, same range, and this PC will be 192.168.1.3. Okay, this PC will be 192.168.2.2, and this one will be 192.168.2.3. So these are the PCs. Okay. And these are the IP address here. One more network required between these two. So we'll go 10.10.10.1 slash 24. And here also 10.10.10.2 slash 24. So you guys, you see we have uh, one network, second and third, three networks. So we want this PC to go this way and communicate with these PCs. Okay. So we will configure here static routings on these two. On these two, our routers, first and second. So let's go start from here from the PC 
we have a desktop we have 192.168.1.2 and the gateway is 1 and this three gateway is also one uh, one okay see this one it's okay gateway is one and one similarly we'll go for this side okay let's configure this area so at least this network and they can reach to their uh, router so here we'll turn it on CLI no enable so we'll go host name router a r1 exit yeah. show interface status nothing show ip route there is no route yet okay so we will configure this one interface gigabit 0 slash 0 slash 0 IP address 192.168.1.1255255255.0 no shut and it will be okay so at this point this PC should ping his gateway okay at this point this PC should ping this gateway okay we'll go IP config ping the gateway okay it's pinging so these two pieces pinging to their gateway and they are pinging to each other also okay because each other they will ping because they are connected in a one VLAN and the same switch so it doesn't a big big issue okay and if we see in this switch show IP route so we have directly connected route here okay now we will configure this side we'll go in this and this is 2.2 .2. And uh, so this one is the gateway. Similar will come here, here, and we'll make it three. And gateway is one. Okay. So now they are configured, and they will configure their gateway here in this so router. enable conf t host name r2 interface key coverage 0 slash 0 slash 0 ip address 192.168.2.1 0 no shut do right right memory show ip route okay it's directly connected this one so at this stage our these PCs should ping their gateway IP config let this one up okay ping 192.168.2.1 which is the gateway for this IP it can ping to the gateway it's very simple
but if I try to ping other side of my PC, my requirement is I want to ping this one, this PC. 192.168.1.2. The destination a host is unreachable. Okay. So now on this stage, we will configure these internal networks. I'll go on router one and we'll go on this one interface gigabit 0 slash 0 slash 1 IP address 10.10.10.1.0 no shut exit exit write memory okay let's go for this side we'll go configuration T Interface gigabit 0 slash 0 slash 1 IP address 10.10.10.2.0 .10 .10 no shut exit right okay so let's try and ping from here this PC to all over this PC Okay, I'm pinging the same and it's pinging now. See, and if we see, ah, it's pinging the gateway. Sorry, I was shocked. How come? <laughs> So we will go for one one dot two. Still, it's not pinging because the static routing still need to be configured. Okay. Okay. If I ping on this side, ten dot ten dot two from this PC, it can ping this side, and let's see if it can ping this this side of the ten dot ten dot two. Ten dot ten ten dot two yes it can ping okay and let's try to ping the tender tender one on the other side no it will not because it doesn't know the static route let's see on this computer is this switch show ip route it has the 10 but it doesn't have the 1 and it doesn't know about the other side of the network similarly here it will have 1 but it doesn't know the this two network and other side IP route okay this is the either way okay so we will configure first this switch and we'll tell this switch if the network someone want to go for this you send the traffic to this hope okay I will go configuration terminal IP route IP route is asking for the destination prefix remember we are here and it doesn't know the route that's why we are adding this route 2.0 so we'll go 192.168.2.0 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 again question mark and it will ask me me the forwarding route address should I throw on which should I give to which uh, router so I will ask you give this router 10.10.10.2 10 .10 10 so we'll say give it to that give it to him and enter so now this side we have configured static routing so this must have a static route now 
exit write memory show IP route so we have one static route here for this network via this this link let's see if we can ping now We can ping 10.10.10.1 until here I can reach. Let's see if I can reach this. No, it cannot because it's reaching but reverse packet acknowledgement is not coming. We have to tell this router also, this router that you need a static route for this one so we'll come here in this router here see we don't have any static route IP route 192.168.1.0 network which is on this side I'm telling to this router subnet is this if somebody asks you about this you can throw here give it to this router so he will take care of the other side so we'll give 10.10.10.1, 10.10.10.1, 10 10 10 enter. Exit, write, show IP route. Now we have one static route here. And let's see if we can ping now from here to other side of our PC. Okay, before we ping, then it said unreachable. Now let's see, enter, yeah. See now, we are reaching to our other side of the network. So this is called uh, static routing between two branches. How we can configure a static route. This is the way we can configure the static route. Okay, guys, uh, if you have any comments or any questions, please do not hesitate to send a in the comments I will address and if you have any lab you want to make or scenario you have we can create also discuss with me in the comments so give the suggestions I will make the lab on that and then for videos for you guys your university use cases or other stuff we can do it okay before closing I would like to you to say if you are new on my channel please do not forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos Take care. Bye-bye.